Hi, good morning, it's Little Lake, and I'm here with Toby. That's the name I've decided to give him. Uh, I just think he looks like a little, to what, we, can we see you? Huh, there he is. Can we see that pretty little face of yours and that cute little mouth, huh? Yeah, he's got some animals he's been playing with because I'm gonna put this cute little outfit on him. This is the bib, and it has animals on it. It's a little me. And uh, it's got lions and giraffes and elephants and things. So we'll put that on. Yeah. Mm hmm Little cute boy. He's got the sweetest face. It's so open and honest and uh, uh, choose me, choose me. <laughs> you know, that type of a look. It's just so cute. And then I've had a request to see his baby book again. So I wanted to be sure and show this. Um, his sculpt is Warren by Laura Tusio. Ross and his artist is Alexa Calvo and she made this this is all it's just it's absolutely gorgeous isn't it pretty and so you open it like this and this is what's inside yeah mm -hmm. this is a separate little picture look at this it's all raised isn't that pretty and it's just it's so professional looking and look at the baby here's the baby the baby <laughs> adopt me and i said okay <laughs> look at this it's so beautiful and then on this side you open this can you see and there's a star, and it says Precious Wonders by Alexa Calvo. And another bow here. And you open it like, let's see, like this. And there's more pictures of our baby. Look at these. Let's see if I can move these. Look at these beautiful, beautiful pictures. Here they are, yeah. And here's his, his, um, birth certificate that says everything about him. He's 19 inches long. He's 4 pounds, 13 ounces, and he was born in January of this year. And, uh, yeah. And then this is her where she is. Facebook, Instagram, website, email. Yeah. Everything you need to know. It's right in this little pocket here. Isn't that cute? And this is a little raised crib. It's just so beautiful. I've never, I don't know how you do this, you know. Let me tie this back up. It's so pretty and so sweet. Oh, my goodness. And then this side has a lot more pictures. And you just fold them like this. Look at that one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's so cute. Look at that face. And here he is. Yeah, mm -hmm. more pictures and all the way to the end. And then this has some little cards with his picture on it. Two of them, isn't that cute? Yeah, so this is so special. It's just a beautiful, beautiful baby book of him. And all his pictures that she had, she had him on Facebook. But I didn't buy him from Facebook. I bought him from her privately. She took him down from Facebook. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, this is the book. And it's, it's, it's just precious. That's the only word for it. It's precious. Anyway, someone asked me if they could see that. And I thought, okay, yeah, sure. I'm, I think it's, it's beautiful. All right. Okay, have you had enough fun with your your little animals, Toby, huh? Yeah. Oh, this has a rattle in it. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to put this little, this little me outfit on you, I think. Yeah. So let's put these little toes in here. Hopefully this is going to fit you. And I also, I had missed when I was talking about buying secondhand. Um, I had missed telling you all that one of the important things about when you buy secondhand 
is that you know who you're buying from. Um, the first, those two dolls that I showed yesterday, uh, Timmy and Sally, I know, I know, I still know, and I do know, uh, the collectors who own them. So they both have channels. That's where I had seen the babies. And uh, yeah, so they, uh, I knew that they were as honest as I was. And that if they were going to sell me something and I was going to buy it, it was going to be perfect. And it was. And I've bought actually three babies from one uh, of them and two babies from the other one. So, you know, other collectors are sometimes your best source for second babies. I've sold a lot of babies on the secondhand market. Uh, but I always knew who I was buying from. I never just, oh, saw something on Facebook and bought it uh, just because it was on Facebook. Let's see, how do I do this? It's me and snaps are never, never good. Okay. You look so cute in this. Yes, you do. All right. Excuse me, I've had a little stuffy nose. All right. Okay, let's put this. Well, you're nice and... F yeah, there you go. There you go, boy. Mm-hmm. You want your giraffe? So I wanted to be sure and mention that. And, uh, yeah. And also, when you're buying secondhand and you say you're interested in a doll and you want to know the price, get back to the seller. Don't just let them hang there and not know if you're going to get it or not. Cut back and say, well, gosh, sorry, I just, I can't swing it at this time. Or, yes, I'm very interested. Um, how do I pay? I'm going to pay through, you know, and then, of course, it's usually, chances are, it's PayPal. And uh, so, and do it right away. Don't uh, futz around because people who are selling dolls will sell. You know, I always say, whoever emails me first is the one who who gets the chance to buy the doll. Well, if they email me and then they sit on it and I've gotten back to people and said, are you still interested in nothing, nothing, nothing? And then I back and say, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and sell the doll to somebody else. So that's a imp very important thing is to um, go ahead and do the deal. You know, complete it. Don't just uh, say you're interested and, oh, the doll's so cute, and yes, you want it, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. And, of course, this one's not for sale. See, he's new. He's got a, a puffy old outfit on, doesn't he? Yes, he does. <laughs> cute little face. But anyway, I, di I, I didn't mention that. Um, and I also thought that what I would do is maybe I would start today and tell you how I got into this hobby and the path I took for each one of my dolls. The very first doll that I bought was um, a silicone doll. <laughs> and I, that was in 2017. And it was, a, it was Eleanor uh, by Andrea Arcello, and it, she was a silicone. And I had seen her, I had heard about Andrea Arcello probably through Lynn of Littlefoot. Oh, that's exact, that, excuse me, let me back up. You know, people ask me, how do I buy dolls? Or how do I get a doll like you've got? Well, you go on uh, YouTube and you look at some of the Reborn channels, some of the ones that um, are popular, like Littlefoot. I happen to have followed right from the beginning um, My Little Tulip. And uh, I absolutely loved the way she handled her Saskia, and when I saw her Saskia, I was like, I've got to have one of those. That was my that was my goal was to have a Saskia because it was just a beautiful, beautiful doll, and I loved the way she was so gentle with it, and so sweet, and so loving, and it was just a great video to watch. Anyway, so I guess I had somewhere I saw this doll Eleanor, and I went on Andrea Arcello's. Uh, uh, website and I ended up uh, she had one for sale uh, that uh, I guess the sale had fell through and she had one immediately and I said I'll take it and I sent her the money and she sent me the doll 
and I was beside myself. I took so many pictures with that doll. Took that baby, I mean, she was gorgeous, and I have a lot of videos of her, and when people go back and look at my videos, they always comment on Eleanor. Yeah, so she was my first, and right about the same time that I got Eleanor, I had asked Little Tulip um, if that channel, if she knew of an artist, because at that time I thought, well, you got to know the artists. You, you know, I wasn't even thinking of buying a secondhand doll or even asking anybody if they had a doll for sale. I just thought, oh, you gotta, you got to get one from, a, you know, you got to get an artist. And so, and she emailed me and said, yes, Amanda Hannon uh, from Chrysalis is a great artist and uh, email her and see if she won't do you a Saskia. So I did and she said yes. And so that was my very next baby was the Saskia, and so I was beside myself. And almost immediately, I bought a Greta, another Andrea Arcello doll, and I did that from eBay. And that was kind of, I mean, she was so gorgeous, and that was just kind of a lucky thing. But the artist was Gina Tobin, and that was not, that, that was wonderful, because Gina of Heaven's Breath Nursery is a fabulous artist and she lives right here in uh, the United States and she does great work. I don't know that she's doing any more. I think she's kind of stopped now, but she's, she did beautiful work and I was very thrilled to get one of her babies. And um, yeah, and so I had Greta and I had Greta for a long time. So I had Greta and I had a Saskia and I had an Eleanor and I was thrilled. And because I had had such good luck with eBay, I decided to go on eBay again, and I found a phoenix. Oh my gosh, this phoenix, another baby by Andrea Arcello. And her artist, let's see, who was she? She was, was it Karina? Carrie, Karina? Okay, let me see if I can. She was from Greece, and she... Yeah, I can't. Oh, K K Katrina's Little Stars. And she sold me, and I bought her off of eBay. And at the time, I was like, I can't believe I just spent that much money on a doll. I mean, I expected to with the silicone, but this was a reborn. But she was outstanding. So those were my babies for quite a while. I, didn't, I don't believe I got any more for a while. It, you know, I had my silicone and I had a Saskia, a Greta, and uh, yeah, and a Phoenix. So I was very happy with those babies. Two of them from eBay and um, one of them, two of them from, one of them from the actual artist and, or two of them from the actual artist. So, you know, it's kind of a combination of things. I didn't really start to do babies, secondhand babies, um, until I, I got my twin A. And uh, I'll talk about that next time because I don't want this to be too long. But I did, uh, I finally did um, a sec, a, you know, a second tier <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah, and of course now, most of my baby, well, you were a very special baby. And this was a baby, you know, there's talk about, well, do you pick the sculpt or do you pick the artist? Well, it's a combination of both. I didn't know anything about this sculpt at all. I had never seen this sculpt. I didn't know about it. And, uh, but I did know about the artist. And I ended up going with the artist on this. And I, I just love this little boy. He is so precious. Yeah, there you are. You got such an open, open, sweet little face. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see you. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Oh, shall we put this on you? Huh, in case you're gonna have a little milk or something. Huh? There's your, there's your bib, and there's your giraffe. You little cute thing. Okay. Oh, and I want to apologize for yesterday for that ugly picture in the mirror. That was not me. 
that was a photographer who was taking the, the holding the video and taking the pictures while I talk. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that I can help you a little bit figure out how to maneuver. You know, people will say, well, how do I get a baby like that? Well, number one, you pay a lot of money. <laughs> number two, you have to know the artist. Uh, you have to look for uh, the babies on Facebook, uh, on other YouTube channels. I would say other YouTube channels. There's lots of On Instagram, there's babies. Um, Coffee with Reborns. Go on Instagram and go to Coffee with Reborns. She's got a baby for sale that's probably a very good price. So please do that. All right. I'm trying to think who else might have a baby for sale right now. I can't can't think of anybody. Okay. You guys, thanks for joining me today and hanging hanging out with me and saying such fabulous th fabulous things to me. I appreciate it. And uh, I look so forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.